everybody welcome back to my channel i made it to term six this is term six i'm sorry i've been gone for a while term five was very 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 hard it was very it was very hard it was just so much it was like head and neck anatomy it was preclinic, process of care, oral pathology, and one more class, um, dental materials. So all of that just kind of was very overwhelming. I think I didn't even have time for myself. I haven't even gone to the gym. So this is the first day back on term six, and I want to show you guys what it's like the first week back. So um, I just want to show off my margarita rdh my sweater that we got and then also it has a tooth um anyways i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe and then um yeah enjoy this is periodontology class and we're going over the periodontium the two supporting structures very very easy class for today I don't want to say it's easy because I know it's going to get more difficult, but this is what our classroom looks like. A lot of us have ebooks or an actual physical book. Today was a very simple, easy day. We just went over some syllabus that we have for the class. What I do, I have um, good notes, or you can also get notability, and it will give you the syllabus, and I just kind of review what my projects are going to be in class. And I also highlight the important areas. So for example, I'll highlight the quiz that we have, which is going to be Logo, Thetics, 2 to 6, LA Pre-Quiz. So those are going to be the chapters we're going to be doing. Then for the midterm, these are the chapters. So it's going to be like highlighted on areas where I know that are important so I don't forget and I just kind of review every single thing and anything of importance I highlighted a specific color. This is what we went over in class. We would go over the syllabus and if you have any questions you could ask the instructor there but it's important to stay organized just so you can know when your exams are going to be and what days are going to be the makeup clinics and what you need in order for you to get a good grade for your projects. So this is day two. I'm on my way to school. I'm going to be there in like 10 minutes. I'm supposed to be there at 7 in the morning and right now it is 6.52 so am I going to be late? I don't think so because I get docked points if I'm late so I don't want to be late. So I'm making sure that I get there on time and that I have all the material that I need for school. Today is a patient day so we're sectioned off as in group A and group B. Group A comes from 7 in the morning to 11. They see patients from that time and then they stay for anesthesia from 12 to 4, I believe. And um, as far as today, I'm supposed to bring a patient in. I have to bring a teenager, an adult, no, a teenager, two adults, and a kid by the end of this term. I don't have a patient today, so I'm kind of... I feel lost. I'm not gonna lie. I feel very, very lost. I don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna walk in there and be like, hey, I'm here. But I showed up and that's what matters. Um, I have so many comps to do. I have so many skills to get checked off. And I'll just show you guys a little preview. Like when I go inside, I cannot really record because I have so much to do. So I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what I go through, as far as yesterday, I got home and I did homework. I finished my periodontology homework and my anesthesia knowledge checks. Um, I need to do homework ASAP as soon as I get home because the moment that I fall behind, not only do I fall ba back behind in learning, but I will fall back behind in like studying for the exams. So it's very, very important to be super organized and thorough with everything. This is what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a coffee today. I just like cannot take coffee cups. So I would just dump my coffee in here. It's literally like an iced coffee and it's like 42 degrees outside, but it's fine um, because <laughs> hot coffee is not a thing anymore because I cannot chug it all so I'd rather just have cold coffee and drink it to towards the day this is insane ah! I cannot believe this is really happening <laughs> like I'm growing up 
Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Biggest mistake of my life yesterday. So yesterday I went in super confident thinking that everything was gonna be okay. The moment I walked in, remember, I walked in at seven in the morning and I was supposed to walk in at 6.45 because if you have a patient, you set up the room 15 minutes prior. So as soon as I walked in there, the instructor was just like, where, who's number seven, who's number seven? And I was number seven. That room was gonna be my room, the room number seven. They'll look, they're looking for this person. And I walk in super confident and they were like, where's your patient, set up your room. And I was like, I don't have a patient. And they looked at me like, what do you mean you don't have a patient? So I got so scared because everybody, three instructors were actually looking for me. And I was like, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I just thought like, okay, I don't have a patient and that's it. But they said, it's going to affect your grade. You're going to get a 70% 70, 70 two day if you don't bring a patient. So I had to contact my mom and I asked her to come in as my backup patient. But I was so scared because my instructor had like, um, spoken to me like inside like the facility she pulled me aside and she was like hey like I just think it's important to always have a patient on the chair no matter what because you need to at least screen them so you can determine what code they are so there's specific codes I, if you're gonna go to Concord you'll understand when you go into what codes they are so it's just based off like staging and grading periodontitis gingivitis at what Point in my career my dental hygiene career while I'm in school can I see these patients so is it this term next term and then last term where I have to anesthetize a quadrants so that's where I feel like fudge I messed up and it's a lesson learned so make sure you have a patient sitting down in your chair the entire time. But anyways, right now I am at Starbucks and I'm in the line. I'm supposed to be at school at nine. This is a little sneak peek of our locker room. We keep all of our belongings in here. I'm drinking a tea right now because I get so much anxiety during pre-clinic that I feel like I need to stop drinking coffee. So yes, I did drink coffee and then drink tea. Do not judge me. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm just a human. Okay, that was a week in the dental hygiene program. And honestly, this week has been very nice easy and i'm starting to get the hang of it but it's so hard to film these types of videos when i am constantly just trying to be like a good person to myself and trying to cope with everybody at school trying to get good grades trying to be a mom and deal with like life it's very very difficult but so for monday my class i have periodontology and i have local anesthesia the book so we go in there and then we sit down for about eight hours i don't know if it's eight hours in total but i want to say it's eight hours and we have lecture for that long but on tuesdays i go in from 6 45 in the morning i typically have a patient sitting in the chair and then at 11 45 oh wait, sorry at 11 i'll have my break it's a 30 minute break um, we have the option whether we want to set up the room 15 minutes prior or if we want to take our lunch. So majority of the times I like to go into the clinic early um, just to make sure I have everything organized. Um, after the 11.30, we go in and do local anesthesia and then we stay there for um, a few hours. I think we leave like at 4, no, 3.30 or 4, yeah, 3.30. And then afterwards, the group B stays there from like 3.30 to 8. So it's a very, very, very long day. For Wednesdays, we are taking, um, cult, not culture diversity? Is it culture? Di yeah, culture diversity in the morning. And then we have um, medical emergencies. And then we have periodontology too. And then on Thursdays, we have periodontology on Thursdays. No, no, no. Do we? Oh, we have clinic again and then anesthesia. So it's a lot and I'm trying to get as much content as I can. So please, again, I'm very sorry if I don't get any content, but I'm trying and I'll make a separate video to let you guys know on how I'm finding patients and everything else. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.